let's look at heteroaromatic compounds. And I want to start off by pointing out that compounds like benzene, it's easy to see why they're aromatic. They follow all the rules that we know for aromaticity, the number of pi electrons, the cyclic system of sp2 atoms, and so on. And we can look at the orbitals in benzene. We can see we have overlapping p orbitals. We have electron density above the plane and below the plane. So we can fairly easily recognize that benzene is aromatic. However, for a compound like parole, which is aromatic, it's harder sometimes to recognize that it is aromatic. We see four pi electrons. We see this nitrogen that appears to be sp3 hybridized because there's a lone pair on it. So we think of parole as looking like this with this sp3 hybridized nitrogen. So in our 3D model of parole, we think about it like this with the two pi bonds overlapping with one another, but with this sp2 sp3 hybridized nitrogen with its lone pairs in an sp3 orbital not interacting with our pi system. However, that's not the correct view of parole because what parole can do is it can take these electrons and put it into a p orbital if it changes its hybridization from sp2 to sp3. Excuse me, from sp3 to sp2 so that it looks something like this. Instead of being tetrahedral as shown over here, this nitrogen is trigonal planar with a p orbital which is containing these lone pairs, or this lone pair, which is important because now this p orbital can overlap with the other four p orbitals, and we'll have a total of two pi electrons here, four from the other two bonds to give us a total of six. And we get something like this with this nitrogen trigonal planar, its p orbital, which contains these lone pairs, conjugated with all of the other p orbitals in this system. Gives us six pi electrons, a cyclic system of sp2 hybridized atoms, and the molecule is planar. So parole is aromatic. Sometimes after looking at a molecule like parole, a question arises about a molecule such as pyridine, which has six pi electrons in double bonds, but also has a lone pair. Now the question is, does this lone pair give us too many electrons for this to be aromatic? And the answer is no. And under, in order to understand that, we need to think about these, this lone pair of electrons and where they are and their orientation with respect to the other pi electrons in this molecule. In particular, we need to remember that these electrons are in an sp2 orbital. If we look at a model of this, what we see is that all of the p orbitals on our six atoms in the ring, the five carbons and the one nitrogen, are conjugated with one another. They're overlapping. We have electron density above the plane of the ring and below. And this lone pair is in an sp2 orbital, and that sp2 orbital is sticking out away from these p orbitals. It's not interacting with these p orbitals at all. It's not part of our pi system, so it doesn't change the number of conjugated pi electrons we have for our aromatic ring. So these electrons do not play a role in the aromaticity of pyridine.